Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. So pick up what does resonate and drop the rest that doesn't for someone else to appreciate. All right, all right. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button is greatly appreciated. And it does help out the channel. Listen, y'all, I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Oh, my Lord. Listen, I'm trying to take it easy on myself. That's my new goal. Take it easy. <laughs> take it easier. <clears throat> Cause I feel like I've been like on go. for too long all right so let me just get started with this reading first off y'all need to hear or y'all need to know that you need to be um how's i gonna say well you don't need to be nothing but um stay in good vibes is your advice right now stay in good vibes okay keep your vibration high make sure you're choosing to listen to music that like is high vibrational um yeah, or if you're noticing, like, you haven't been playing a lot of music, okay, um, you need to start doing that. It'll put you in, 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 um, in very high spirits, especially if it's, like, music you like to dance to or music that, like, pumps you up. I usually like listening to, like, house music or, um, what's it called? Like, music that would, never mind, why am I talking? Let me just keep, let me keep going ciao um yeah something here about music i'm also getting something about um somebody here needs new headphones okay or maybe you might need to invest in better headphones all right or you need to pay attention to something okay when it comes to like what you hear or pay attention to certain words that are are repeating okay there's something here about things being in sync all right those pay attention to the repetition okay that's how your spirit team is trying to speak to you i feel like whoever i'm speaking to you're in alignment um you guys could really be seeing um a lot of synchronicities okay um a lot of repeated signs symbols numbers words names even places locations okay countries stuff like that okay pay attention to all of that i feel like whoever i'm speaking to something here that that was once like um not really made clear to you it's going to be made clear to you okay i was also hearing i also heard um I don't want you to flip out okay so i don't i don't know if this is like um whatever <laughs> i don't know i don't know sorry i'm laughing but i don't know if like <laughs> i don't know if what you're about to hear is gonna piss you off and you might flip out um and you're like being warned right now not to trip chocolate chip okay or something here okay um, i was also picking up something about bacon all right you need to say no to the bacon i don't know if someone's eating a lot of um bacon or something here but you need to stop or you need to stop eating what's it called the meats that are like pre-packaged if that makes sense like the sandwich meats salamis bacons meat that is high in nitrates like those pre pre-cooked um what's it called sausages and shit hot links something like that if you want to you don't have to i'm just saying um also i was hearing <laughs> i was hearing uh 
Cause you're everywhere to me When I close my eyes It's you I see I think that's how it goes It's from Michelle Branch It's an oldie but a goodie Cause you're everywhere to me Oh, it's 420 right now Angel number 420 could be significant for some of you. Oh, there we go. Someone's last name could be Brown. <sighs> this could be your last name or someone else's. So when I heard this song, it's making me think there's someone here that like keeps either seeing your name everywhere or they keep seeing things um, that remind them of you, okay? <laughs> or there could be, um, or this is something that's happening to you, flip where it needs to go. Um, I also feel like this could be someone who's actually in love with you that this is happening to, or this is someone here who's being haunted by you because they fucked you over in some way, okay? Um, and this is like their conscious getting at them or eating at them. Okay, someone here has to, this is, this could be happening to someone that knows they have to do something, they have to do the right thing, they have to communicate something to you. Maybe this is why I heard, I don't want you to flip out. Maybe someone's hesitating on like communicating something to you because they don't want you to flip out or they know you're going to flip out or they would know it's warranted for you to flip out. Um, but anyways, it goes, turn it inside out so I can see the part of you that's drifting over me and when I wake, you're, you're never there. But when I sleep, you're always, you go, no, it says you're everywhere, you're everywhere. So everyone even, okay, not everyone. So this, whoever this person is, they even are seeing you in their dreams or this is you, flip it one needs to go. Maybe it's both of y'all, I don't know. It says, just tell me how I got this far. Just tell me why you're here and who you are. Because every time I look, you're never there. And every time I sleep, you're always there, okay? I don't know, child. It says, because you're everywhere to me, and when I close my eyes, it's you I see. You're everything I know that makes me believe I'm not alone. Okay, so okay, so this could be a twin flame situation for some of you if you guys believe in the twin flame journey. You and your person could be um, connecting in the 5D. You guys could be telepathically communicating. You guys could be sending each other songs or something like that. Um... Okay, that's for some of you, or this could just be like your spirit team sending you a lot of signs, symbols, and synchronicities because they want you to know that you are not alone. Okay, maybe they feel like you need a little extra comforting at this time. I also feel like it's because you're also about to embark on something new, um, or you're about to discover some sort of truth, something like that, child. It says, um... So I recognize the way you make me feel. It's hard to think that you might not be real. I sense it now. The water is getting deep. I try to wash the pain away from me, away from me. So for some of you, you may not he you may have not already how can I say this? You may not know who this individual is that you keep connecting with in the 5D. A handful of you have already met this person in person. You already know who they are in person in person. <laughs> um but I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, maybe you're about to meet this person. There's something here about being at the right time at the or the right place at the right time. You guys could be seeing 1234 a lot. If so, this number or this number, this this message is definitely for you. You guys could be seeing 911 as well. Okay, so there's something here about a warning. Um, you guys could be dreaming about snakes. You guys could be seeing snake imagery. Um, if so, there's some sort of warning here. There's someone here that's trying to slither their way towards you um, to kind of confuse you, okay? There's something here about like having faith or something here about putting your putting your faith in what you, you know to be true because there is someone here that wants to come in and try to make you think that something isn't real. But in your hearts of hearts, you know it's real. Something like that is significant. Okay, someone here might want to gaslight your ass. Okay, you guys could be seeing uh, uh, 111. I was just, uh, oh my god, I was just about to say 999. 
Ay, ay, ay. Someone here can have Tourette's or, or something. I don't know. I just felt like I had Tourette's for like two seconds, okay? You guys can, you guys can be seeing 222 a lot, okay? Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay. So I'm trying not to smile so big because I need to still get this gosh dang tooth fixed. Um... Something about that is going on, okay? Someone's always feeling you around them or you're about to feel the person. I don't know. Whenever you meet this person that you've been meeting in the 5D, now this message is for some of you, not all y'all. If you're like watching me right now and you're like, Linda, I didn't have no dream. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know this experience. Then, then, then baby, I'm sorry this message or this part of the reading is not for you, okay? Leave it for someone else. Um, but yeah. You're about to come into contact with this person in the 3D or something. I'm also getting, for some of you, if you did have a twin flame and they went rogue, it's like this twin flame is going to forever be haunted by the memory of you because they know they should have done something when they didn't do it. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay. Someone's name is Kevin. Or Michael or something. David. Davis. Peterson. Peter. Paul. Something. I also feel like someone here never... Someone feels like they're... Um, someone's house could be haunted. Okay? Someone here could be... Um, this could have been someone here that was dabbling in things they didn't really have much information about. And now they like invited something in their home and it could be, I'm, I'm getting the word tormenting them or torturing them or something. Maybe the same thing that they summoned, they intended to, they intended it to be for you to torture you or to torment you or something. I don't know. This is someone here who has like a heavy heart. This is somebody here who, whose, whose heart is, or is full of pain and it needs to be released in a more healthy way or something like that okay i also was picking up something here about someone ODing. okay um i don't know that's another thing i'm getting uh i was gonna say something else but it kind of left oh well okay oh there is also going to be somebody, I don't know if I even want to talk about it, though. If it comes out, I'll talk about it. If it don't, whatever. You guys could be seeing 404 as well, or you're just seeing a lot of fours. If you're wondering, it's an energy drink, and no, I'm not sponsored, okay? Oh, the devil, that's what came out. Someone here could be obsessed with you. Or someone here was doing something devilish because they wanted to bind you to them or like keep you stuck in some sort of um, situation that's very unhealthy for you, okay? Or there's someone here that no can, can't be with you or can't walk on your same path because they chose a different route, okay? They picked the, the, the other side or something. This could be symbolic or... going holy spirit holy angels what do they need to hear because you're everywhere to me when i close my eyes it's you i see <clears throat> we have service here it says i feel good when i can help others with the fertility card um i could be speaking to an empress energy okay this could be a man or woman flip it where you need to go but whoever I'm speaking to, you're definitely attracting a lot of positive things in your life. And you need to maintain this positivity, okay? So you can continue att attracting what you want to attract, okay? That's another reason why you need to stay in high vibe, okay? I'm also getting, there's someone here that was questioning um, why you help others or something like that or someone was trying to figure out if why if you helping others is genuine or something like that someone was questioning your intentions or something like that that's for some of you not all y'all man that's gonna bug me i was gonna say something else but it kind of went doo -doo 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 -doo. 
He flew away. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear? Okay, look, we got the sun out here, or the light, right? Someone here could be a Leo. You could have Leo somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one. So like I was saying, something here that wasn't made clear before is going to made, be made clear. Or something here that was, you know, hidden is going to be seen or is going to be discovered. Something like that is happening here for some of you, okay? You guys could be noticing that your vision's a little cloudy or something or murky. Okay, <clears throat> it's going to be cleared up. We have patience and planning number seven. You guys could be seeing a lot of motherfucking sevens. I know I have. You guys could be seeing 777, 1717, 717, 707, <clears throat> 27, 727. Someone here could be born in the 1970s. Yeah, you guys done a lot of growth, okay? Or right now, this is like your current energy. So this is what you're being asked to do is to remain patient, okay? And continue planning for what you want, okay? Because whatever whatever you want will come to you. What is this? Oh, patience in reverse. So there, you got someone around you that is becoming impatient, or maybe this is you. you got empress at the bottom of the day. Okay, let's see what's going on, Spira. Cause you're everywhere to me. When I close my eyes. Look, we got fertility and then we got emotional loss. So you got someone here who's a little sad. They're sad because they're missing this energy of yours. Okay. Yeah. We got service. Maybe someone maybe someone felt like when you were helping them. I don't know, something like that. Maybe this is someone you helped because we have, I feel good when I can help others. Um, maybe you were helping this person and then you didn't help them anymore. You decided to cut them off because they were not appreciating it or something. Or someone's, maybe this person is now haunted because they feel like they didn't appreciate your help when you were offering it or something like that. Maybe they didn't think what you were offering was legit or, I don't know, somebody here. I don't know. We, or maybe this is what someone's going to do. Someone here that misses you, they're going to come reach out to you and they're going to ask you if you could help them with something. We keep getting that energy. Yeah, this is somebody that you could have walked away from emotionally. Maybe you no longer have any tears left to cry for this person or maybe you just don't give a fuck. We got the waiting game. Okay, someone here could have been withholding, offering you some sort of long-term commit commitment. Okay, somebody here could have been... Um, this could have been the person that was trying to put you on the back burner. We keep getting that energy. When is it going to end? I don't know. Okay. Someone here with the with the, with the the name Michelle Branch. I also feel like this is someone here who wants to reach out to you. Okay. I'm also getting this is someone here that doesn't want you to branch out. Something here about trees is significant. Cause you're everywhere to me. Not that yet. Should I use these? I feel like, I feel like what this is, is there's a lot of individuals that are now maybe looking back at you, whoever's in this energy. And maybe they feel kind of like regretful or, um, I keep getting the word haunted. They feel haunted by either how maybe how they handled you or how they treated you or I don't know. Because whenever like this type of energy comes through the room, some people don't know how to act. You know what I'm saying? Someone here could be 53 or 35. Okay, someone here could be a life path 8, life path 3, a life path 7. Cause you're everywhere to me. Yeah, something here is going to be discovered about what somebody planned to do to you. Okay, you're being asked to listen to the signs. Okay, I don't know. Maybe you're being yelled at right now. Okay, it says not listening to the signs. Some of you may not be listening to some sort of signs that keep being like repeated to you. Maybe you're just brushing them off like eh, it's whatever. But I feel like if you're seeing 911. <laughs> 
somebody need to pay attention, child. Why do we got patience in playing these spirits? Yeah, I could be speaking to a black sheep. Okay. You need to know that you, you're about to embark on a new adventure. Some sort of new beginning. Some sort of new cycle in your life. Okay. I'm seeing the world card in my, um... My third eye. Why do we got patience in reverse? Yeah, somebody here is, um... Okay, this is in the future position, too. So, uh, somebody here might cross your boundaries, and you might lose your patience. <laughs> Don't do that, please. Yeah, we got dark secrets. So, you're gonna find out some sort of dark secret here about someone who crossed your boundaries or did something out of line. And it might turn you from this patient and planning, sturdy energy to, like, I'm a fucking... <laughs> I'm about to sock someone in the throat kind of vibe, okay? Ciao. Listen, I'm laughing because I'm trying not to... I want to keep us in high spirits, okay? <laughs> Holy Spirit, what's going on? Because you're everywhere to me. Why do we have dark secrets? What is the dark secrets about? We got no... The answer is no. The situation or event is not unfolding at this time. Bridge closed. Um, You could have said no to somebody and they lost access to you. So they did something real dark to you. Somebody here could wear a lot of plaid or something, or they could dress like this, or this is you. This is giving me, like, construction worker, lumberjack man. Okay, I don't know. Um, somebody here could have burned a bridge with you. I'm also getting, you might find out whatever somebody did, like, it's gonna be something they can't come back from. Like... Whatever this secret is, you could still be talking to this person too. But that's for some of you, not all y'all. For, for a lot of you, you're not talking to this person. Um, but when you find out like the full details about whatever this person did and what it entails, this person knows that you'll never extend your hand out to them or something. <laughs> or something like that, okay? Um, I'm also getting like somebody here could have been trying to like stop you from being a bridge from the, the physical realm to the spiritual realm as well maybe someone here was trying to block you off from your gifts okay it's like it's because somebody wanted to cut you down somehow because they think you're too this could be someone here that thinks like you're um out of their league or this is someone here who feels like, this is how they feel, okay? They feel like you're, um, they don't feel good enough for you or something. So they felt like they needed to cut you down. I, I don't know. So they could feel more comfortable. This could have been somebody who did something out of ego. She's so high, <laughs> high above me. She's so lovely. She's so high. Like Cleopatra, Joan of Arc, Aphrodite. Do, 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 do. That song. There's a lot of 90s songs. I think that's a 90s song. Or early 2000s? I don't know. Um. Yeah. Interesting. Tell me more. What's up with this um, Boundaries Cross spirit? Ooh, you need to, okay, so you need to protect yourself from this person or you need to know that you are being protected from this person who wants to either come in because this is in the future position. Somebody that either wants to come in and cross your boundaries. This is someone you've already told no to. Um, and your spirit team is is guarding. Is You've got someone guarding the fort, so to speak, okay? Yeah, we got boundaries with this corset here. This person is restricted from being near you, okay? Someone is hoping they can cross your boundaries, so they hoping that you would people please them or something, be of service to them. 
what the fuck is going on? What about that dark zinger in there? Tell me more about that dark zinger. I'm also getting like someone here trying to cross your boundaries to try to figure out what your dark secrets are. But this person has no access to something. Someone here could be 45, 57, 54. Someone's trying to block you from having a new adventure or a new beginning. Someone's also trying to block you from traveling somewhere or taking some sort of trip somewhere. Okay. Maybe somebody here doesn't want you to go somewhere to be at the right place at the right time so that you could you could um, meet that person that you keep seeing in your dreams or meet that person that you keep connecting with in the 5D. This could be your twin flame, your soulmate, blah, 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 life partner, divine spouse, whatever the fuck you want to call it, okay? Someone here could be a Gemini, a Taurus, um, an Aries. Don't have to be, but those, those are the signs that I'm seeing. Also, a Sag and a Leo. Somebody took a chance here. They took a gamble. They took a risk. And now they're scared. They're weary. This is someone here that wanted you to be stuck in the past. This is someone that didn't want you to move forward. Okay, see how this car is all old and shit? Somebody didn't want your car your somebody didn't want your car to start. Someone didn't want you to be able to have the um what's it called? The resources to, to continue to move forward. This could be financially, this could be mentally, this could be spiritually. Okay, someone was trying to break you down. Like this car. I'm also getting like somebody here could be upset because some sort of old habits that you had have died hard. Like you no longer do the same thing that you used to do or something. And this is throwing someone off. Um, this is some sort of like, I'm also getting like you could have changed up like the same pattern that you and your family are like kind of... Um, I don't want to say like cursed to have, but it's like there's some sort of pattern in your family that you have noticed and you're the one who has not repeated that pattern or you decided to stop that pattern, okay? This could be regarding like who you marry or who or who you decide to date or relationship wise or this could even be career choice wise, something. Something changed, something's different. Yeah, this is about family. Okay, so this could be somebody in your family. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. I don't know. Someone here is loyal to you. This could be someone in your family. This could be a sibling or, I don't know, don't have to be. Or you got a sibling out here that's trying to cross your motherfucking boundaries. I don't flip it where it need to go. But you need to know you're protected or you need to protect yourself from someone because someone wants to come in and they want to... Um, want to cross your boundaries who the fuck is this can we get a gosh dang holy spirit holy angels who is this person that wants to cross their boundaries because they're becoming impatient who is this person that wants to cross the collective boundaries this person could have the chinese zodiac sign of the tiger note the date this could be you or some or the their sign tell me more who is this person that wants to cross the boundaries this could be someone that wants to come in and act like they want to nurture and support you, but they really come in to cross your motherfucking boundaries. They're, maybe this person is trying to stop some sort of um, dark secrets from being illuminated. Maybe they want to keep them in the dark. This person doesn't care about like what you got going on, or this person wants you to care because we have I don't care in reverse. Okay, maybe this person's upset because you're no longer in fear, um, but they are. Okay, tell me more, spirit. What's going on with these boundaries? This could be a friend, an acquaintance, or a coworker that's trying to come in, acting like they want to nurture and support you, but they're really their intention is to cross your boundaries. You need to you need to be defensive of this person. This could be the slithering snake that I was um, picking up earlier. Okay, you're like no one else. Okay, you guys could be seeing a lot of uni unicorns. I'm also getting something here about uh, a triple headed dragon or some shit we got twin flame okay i don't know we have coming in to offer you resources or stability so someone here might want to come in and offer you money this could be a twin flame a friend an acquaintance or a co-worker or someone here you think is your twin flame child or somebody here is trying to do this and cross your boundaries because they don't want you to be with your twin flame flip it where it needs to go you know your situation better than i do why do we have um fertility here 
because she's so high. We got drinking. Someone here could be drinking a lot. Or there's someone here that wants you to come in. and uh, Or there's someone here that wants to come towards you. Okay? The friend, the acquaintance, the co-worker, uh, whoever else came out over there. <laughs> um, they want to come in and maybe they want to ask you to go out to drink. Okay? Maybe that's an old habit that died hard. And someone wants you to start that back up. I don't know. Um, or someone here wants to get you all drunky drunk so they can get some sort of dark secret out of you. I don't know. Someone wants to be able to have something on you or something like that so they can get resources from you. Maybe someone wants to blackmail you. We keep getting that energy. That's for some of you, not all y'all. I'm also getting this could be someone's mother who drinks a lot. Okay, because that is the empress out there. Tell me more. Well, not these. Tell me more about this. Tell me. Yeah, someone wants to come in and tell you that they regret talking shit about you because they know that you're on top of your shit. So someone here never thought you would ever be on top of your shit. That's what I feel like is going on. Okay. We got courthouse. Somebody, some Something here has been made final. You guys could be seeing a lot of fairies. Why do we have light here? We have not taken care of things. Okay. Or you guys could be seeing a lot of lights, little specks of light. We have not taken care of things, okay? So there's somebody, someone here is about to get exposed for not taking care of something, okay? Or purposely not taking care of something. That was something that they planned when it comes to some sort of insurance policy, some sort of forged signature, some sort of something. We got paid off karmic debt, okay? Maybe someone was supposed to pay off some sort of some sort of karmic debt and they did not. Someone here is gonna be getting exposed for not doing something they was supposed to do. We got release. For whoever I'm speaking to, you're the one who's in this light and you're the one who has been released from some sort of karmic debt. And whoever is coming towards you, they're trying to get you back. They're trying to hold you back in any way they can. Someone here is being desperate and they're losing patience because you keep being on top of your shit and the bridge between y'all is burned and somebody wants to come back into your life. This could be platonic or not. Tell me more about facility. Yeah, someone here has a lot of fucking unresolved issues or you and this person have unresolved issues that someone wants to come in and hash out with you. There's a lot of baggage or a lot of emotional baggage between you and this individual that wants to come towards you. Okay, this person could be in fear. They could be anxious at this time or they're worried. I'm also getting like you might, this person might irritate the fuck out of you or something. <laughs> Or this, this person makes you, every time you're around this person, they make you upset. Or you know this person makes you upset. That's why you cut them off. Or something about this, okay? You, or someone's worried because they're worried that you're, you're going to achieve something. Or they're worried or upset or in fear because you're, like I said, you, you're on top of your shit. You mastered yourself. Uh, you mastered something. You're on the right motherfucking track, whatever it is. You're the king of the mountain, bitch. Or the king, queen, king, whatever. Flip it where I need to go. Yeah, somebody here, because you're the black sheep of the family, I feel like this is about a family situation. Okay, family and a friend and an ex, whatever. Whatever it is, someone here counted you out, baby boo. And you're proving motherfuckers wrong. All right, you could be doing something with passion and action. All right, and it's blowing people's minds is what I feel like is going on. You could be someone who's, um, someone never really thought you were going to be someone who would believe in themselves or make something of themselves, okay? You've destroyed what people's, um, judgments were about you, I feel like, is going on, okay? Okay? Yeah, you held something together. Someone didn't think or believed you were going to hold something to, so, blah, 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 hold something together. They didn't think that you had the structure and the know-how, okay, to pull something off. Um, or if this is you, if you're doubting that you have you have what it takes, then you you know, you need to buck up, buttercup cuz you do. Okay? Holy Spirit and holy angels, tell me more. Yeah, someone here was definitely trying to put some roadblocks in your way because they really did not want you to conquer something. They didn't want you to overcome something. They didn't want you to achieve something, okay? They didn't want you to be above them as well because going back to that song, she's so high. Someone didn't want you to be so high above them, okay? 
Somebody just wanted you to be high on drugs. Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more spirit. What's going on? Listen, and if you're watching me and you high on something that's not marijuana, you need to go get some help. Okay? Someone here could be born in 1985. All right? And I'm saying that with love. All right? I used to work for a rehab center. Um... Let's see. Someone's name could be John. We got Dear John, and then we have Shooting Star. So, some sort of wish here is going to be granted for you, okay? And this is, it's, it's being granted because you decided to cut somebody off. You listened. You listened. Someone was really hoping you didn't listen, and you didn't trust in, in the guidance that you were receiving. Something here beautiful is going to come in, whoever I'm speaking to. Okay? So, there's going to be a rare moment scary confirmation there's gonna be a rare moment happening okay for whoever i'm speaking to i feel like this is going back to the 12:34 on the clock um something here about you being at the right place at the right time i was scared because it's almost like okay you know how like well i'm not scared but you know what i mean okay you know how like when you see like a shooting star like you don't really expect to see it but when it does happen you're like oh my god like you feel special kind of Anyway, something beautiful is happening. I'm also getting like someone's going through some sort of divorce or some sort of breakup as well. And there's someone here that wants to smack the shit out of you for <laughs> Okay, someone here could be literally going to court for a divorce, okay? Or some sort of um, ruling in a court is going to be ruling in your favor, whoever I'm speaking to. You could be an Aries, you could be a Capricorn, you could be an Aquarius, or that's the sign of the person you're in court with and you about to win. They're going to lose. Flip it where it needs to go. I don't know. But um, someone here is deciding to make it a very important decision, okay? Or because of the ruling, some sort of ruling in court, in the physical or in the spiritual someone here is going to try to put take matters in their own hands because they still they think what's happening for you in your life is unfair even though they know you earned it you were on top of your shit you did what you were supposed to do she's so high <laughs> oh i didn't use the high above me She's so lovely. Let's find out what's going on with this person. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear at this time? What do they need to hear regarding this reading and when it comes to this twin flame love situation? What do they need to know with this twin spirit for their highest good? What do they need to know? Someone here is obsessed with you. Okay, and they feel stuck in life. So this could be the weird person and devil-like energy. They could be watching you, stalking you either online or in person, whatever it is, spiritually, physically, both. Whatever this person is doing, they can't keep their eyes off you, okay? And they're really trying to find a way or devise a way to try to stop you from moving forward, trying to stop you from taking some sort of trip, traveling, or there's someone here trying to stop another individual from moving towards you, okay? I also feel like there's someone here that wants to keep you stuck because they're stuck. Something is going to happen in the next few weeks, okay? So something is happening very soon, okay? Yeah, we got activations. For whoever I'm speaking to, you could be going through a spiritual, spiritual awakening, a kundalini awakening. Some sort of chakra could be opening up for somebody. Somebody's third eye could be opening. Someone's heart chakra could be opening. Okay, something like that could be happening. Whoever I'm speaking to, just know you're, you're about to be getting some sort of spiritual downloads if you aren't already. 
okay or some sort of dna upgrades at this time i'm also getting like whoever i'm speaking to you could have already gotten some sort of dna upgrade and now someone here literally has no access to you because your vibration is too high for this person to tap into like they don't have they don't have the um the clearance how many more someone here could be in the military or something we got the mission okay this came out in reverse under obsession so there's someone here that is not supposed to be on your mission with you whoever this person who's obsessed with you okay this is somebody here that's trying to get back on your path okay or there's someone here that is obsessed with you because um Someone knows, somebody knows you're not, someone knows that you're, you're supposed to be on a mission with another individual. They just, they know that they're, they're not, they know, they know that's not them, basically. But they don't, they refuse to accept that is what I feel like is going on. Yeah, this is the person that's watching the shit out of you, okay? Someone knows that you and another person are supposed to share a mission together. This is so sad. Yeah, this could be someone here who's, um... Something about drinking, baby. I don't know. This could be someone who drinks a lot of red wine, or you, be, you need to be cautious of someone coming towards you with a bottle of wine, wanting you to partake. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Um, this could be someone who's numbing their emotions, okay? And they could be turning to drinking because they feel stuck or they're not experiencing a lot of progress in their life. And listen, if this is you, like I said before, you need to go reach out and go get help. Going and getting help is not a sign of weakness, okay? It's it's a sign that you don't wanna give up on yourself, okay? Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, we got no. So you need to say no to somebody. I'm also getting like, this is someone else being like, no, because you got some sort of DNA upgrade they didn't want you to have. Because now that you have some sort of DNA upgrade or spiritual awakening, either this is you or somebody else. Since you or somebody else got some sort of download or spiritual awakening or DNA upgrade, they no longer have access to you energetically spiritually something like that okay someone here could be analyzing you trying to take notes trying to figure out how to how to how how to come towards you so you don't say no and i feel like this is a slithering ass snake so just be careful she so high i feel like there's someone here that wants to impress you okay Man or woman, flip or where needs to go. Yeah, someone wants to come in with some sort of offer. Someone wants to make you an offer. A financial offer, a commitment, an offer of love, some sort of offer. This is somebody here that could have broken your heart. Something here could have ended very painfully, okay? Or somebody now feels like they, they have hurt feelings because you no longer want them or something. This person could be like... Something is finally sinking into someone's brain, I feel like. We got divine timing. Something here is happening in divine tw twining. <laughs> divine timing, okay? Something's happening at the right time. This is coming when it needs to. Patience. You need to have patience. Tell me more. Yeah, we got spiritual advisor. I could be speaking to a spiritual advisor. You could be a spiritual advisor, okay? Or someone's going to a spiritual advisor to try to figure out... Um, if you've gotten uh, some sort of DNA upgrade or some sort of spiritual awakening or you've gotten some sort of spiritual download about them. Like someone here is worried that you you already being guided and I mean you are being guided and protected. I don't know I don't know who this person thinks you are. I feel like if you're someone here who's highly intuitive, I feel like this person already knows you are, but this person's gonna just still try to come in and try to fool you or try to think they can trick you, but it's like I don't know. I'm also getting like someone here could be trying to get readings on you to try to figure out if you and your other person are activated or something like that. Yeah, this is a narcissist. So, there's a narcissist that keeps going to a spiritual advisor. Or they keep getting readings on a spiritual advisor. Flip it where it needs to go. 
And I feel like whoever this spiritual advisor is that they keep going to, or maybe they're going to multiple, the spiritual advisor that they keep going to keeps telling them, uh, yeah, no, you and this person don't share a mission. And maybe this person now is like, oh, I'm sad. And they're drinking their sorrows away. And now they're heartbroken. This could have been the person that was trying to put you on the shelf for later. It's another thing that I'm getting. Um, I'm also getting like someone here could be going to another spiritual advisor or a reader or something and asking if you really are someone who is connected to the divine and this person keeps telling them yes and this person this other person this narcissist is upset about that okay or they keep they keep getting told no and it could be pissing this person off this person could have a lot of pride and ego or this is someone here who's very manipulative Okay, this is someone here who always had multiple options um, or try to make you an option. And now they're realizing that was the bad, that was the bad move. But it don't matter. You're not supposed to be with this person anyway. This person wants to meet up with you again. This is a past person. This is someone who's very much unhealed. Okay. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you already know who this person is. Um, they just keep lingering in the energy. I know it's annoying, but... That's what we have. Who is this person who's obsessed with them? Can we get some zodiac signs or some sort of clues? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you. This is someone here who loves you today, hates you tomorrow. We already know that. Who is this obsessive, stalking-ass person? This is someone here that wants to come in as your partner and companion, okay, or once was. Who is this person that's obsessed, Spirit? This could be a friend, an acquaintance, or a co-worker. So, the same person that's obsessed with you that keeps getting reading on readings on you, they're losing their patience and they're going to decide to come in and um, talk to you in person is what I feel like is going on, okay? That's for some of you. Not all y'all. You definitely have distance between you and this person or you guys live at a distance, one or the other. Can we get a zodiac sign, please? Someone here could be a Taurus. You could be a Taurus or this person is a Taurus. Flip or needs to go. Or someone's obsessed with the things that you have. Someone here could be obsessed and stalking the things when it comes to your your second house. Or stalking your house. Chow. Mm. This is a karmic. Okay? So you guys could be dealing with a karmic ass Taurus for some of you. That That is from a distance or you put distance between y'all. Or I'm speaking to a Taurus and you're dealing with a karmic. Flip it where it needs to go. Someone here could be admiring you from afar tell me more so yeah this is the same person that thinks like highly of you but they 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 have such low self-esteem that they feel the need to cut you down so they can feel better about themselves this is the person that wants to come in and act like they want to offer you something of value this person could be a sagittarius you could be a sagittarius flip it where it needs to go okay or someone here is going to take the risk and do something come towards you this person is going to be very much in their feelings. We got cancer. You guys could be dealing with a cancer who's obsessed with you. Or I'm speaking to one and this is happening to them. Flip it where it needs to go. Tell me more. Okay, someone here could be a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo who's obsessed with you. Or you just got a lot of motherfuckers obsessed. Tell me more. Or that something here is about to get exposed. Or someone here is about to expose how they feel. We have tiger. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the tiger. Okay, that could be you or, or this person or Pisces. You guys could be dealing with a Pisces who's obsessed with you or Pisces, you got one of these signs obsessed with you, child. They want to come in. They want to give you an offer. They don't like that none of their tricks are working. Maybe somebody was going to like a spiritual advisor or a practitioner to try to get you to come to them and it's not working and they could be getting frustrated and losing patience because you should have called them by now or you should have been, you know, begging for them back or some weird shit. This is sad. Listen, I don't, whoever needs to hear this, um, if there's someone here that can't reach out to you because they're too afraid, quote unquote, or they're shy or whatever the fuck this is, um, they're not for you. Because you gotta understand that if they can't do a simple thing like that, like reach out, have the balls or the courage to do that, that that's, a, that's a sign of a bigger issue or sign a sign or a red flag of more issues to come because this person mm, that's not that's not very much leadership qualities that's all i'm gonna say okay holy spirit holy angels what's going on what else they need to hear when it comes to this situation 
It's not like, like, I know even with myself, like in the past, I would be like, oh, the person, like, it's hard for them to express themselves. Oh, you know, this is something that they need to work through. Like I was, I was having more compassion for it, but the more time that goes by, <laughs> the more time that goes by, nah. You know? Like, where was the compassion for you? Ooh, child. We got six of chalices, yeah. Whoever this person is, you don't have good memories of them. Okay? This person left a nasty taste in your mouth. They know this, too. I'm also getting like there's somebody here that doesn't this is someone if they come towards you this is someone here who's going to try to pull you away from god basically okay whoever i'm speaking to you are a child of god someone is coming in to try to get you off your path of your mission because this came out in reverse okay oh this one in reverse too chow the nine of wands yeah you decided to let this person go you decided to let go of this burden or there's someone here that wants you to bring down or, or there's someone here that's a 10 that's the 10 of wands this person wants you to um put down your guard okay someone doesn't want you to someone wants to cross your boundaries so they might do this by trying to get you liquored up or something like that or high on something Someone here could be a life path nine. It says in all this, Job did not sin by by charging God with wrongdoing. There's somebody here that was really trying to make your life difficult, throwing a lot of arrows at you, putting a lot of roadblocks in your way because they wanted you to lose patience and lose faith in God. Somebody wanted you to curse God for um, all the all the things that they were doing to you. People are sick. Okay. But I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you did not. And now someone's losing patience because you're not losing patience. You're not losing faith. Okay, so they're, I don't know. Someone's going to try to do something drastic. Yeah, we got the Empress here. This could be a mother figure that's trying to do this. Okay, or you could be a mother. Flip it where it needs to go. Or I'm just speaking to an Empress or someone was trying to bring down an Empress. Someone wants an empress to kneel down to them or something. And it's like, who are you, sir and or ma'am? We got Mary, mother of Jesus, okay? Whoever I'm speaking to, you're about to, you're supposed to give birth to a son, okay? Or someone wants you to have their son or something here. Or you have a son already. Someone's name could be Joshua. You know, you could be a leader of faith here. You could be someone here who inspires others to have faith as well within themselves and with with source, with God. It says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9. So you're being, this is what you did, whoever I'm speaking to, this is what you did. You held on to your faith. You, you decided to choose um, to be not, to be fearless. You decided to put your faith in God. You decided not to be discouraged, even though someone here was putting you through a lot of effed up crap. Yeah, we, we got the seven of um, swords here. So yeah, there's some sort of betrayal that you're about to find out that someone tried to do in order to like, uh, you're going to find out what someone did to cross your boundaries or whatever it is. This could be someone who's the firstborn in the family. This could be you or, or your sibling did something to betray you. You're the firstborn in your family.
Somebody was trying to take your blessings. This is about Jacob, the deceiver. <laughs> Someone was trying to take your god dang spiritual inheritance. Someone's trying to take your destiny. You're going to find out about this. Or somebody wants you to put down your boundaries so that they can do that. They can deceive you. People are sick, bro. Yeah, because this is somebody here who's in the Five of Pentacles. Okay? Somebody here wants to touch your garment. They want to touch your cloth. They need to back up. Okay? And this is this is this is clarifying the Empress. Someone's trying to get the Empress to be in the Five of Pentacles, child. Yeah, you could be someone who's single, self-sufficient here. You're doing bad all by yourself. We got the Queen of Sheba visits Solomon. It says, and she gave the king 120 talents of gold, large quantities of spices and precious stones. So whoever I'm speaking to, you abundant. You have enough to give or something like that. And that's because of your faith. Let me see what this is. And you take leaps of faith, okay? Yeah. Someone here is trying to blind you. I'm also getting, you're being tested. Keep your boundaries up. This is a test that's coming in. Someone's going to come in and try to deceive you, okay? It says, God tests Abraham's faith. Your, your, your faith is about to be tested, okay? It says, then God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of, I don't even know how to say this, Morhara. It says, sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain. I will show you. Genesis 2, 22, 2. So you guys can be seeing, you guys can be seeing 2, 2, 2 a lot. You're being, at, you're being tested. You need to choose wisely. Okay? When it comes to something here. Or there's someone here trying to sacrifice your ass. Literally. Someone here could have a knife. Whoever this deceiver is. Okay? Because whoever I'm speaking to, your table is about to be set for you. You're about to eat this feast here. This is for you. Someone knows, whoever this person is that wants to come in and deceive you, they know they can't, um, they can't eat with you. They already know. They keep getting readings and they keep being told, no, you can't sit next to them. <laughs> you can't sit here. Seats taken. That's all they keep hearing and they keep getting pissed off and they can't believe it. Because this is someone here who thinks you're better than them or or this is someone here that doesn't want you to be better than better than them. Okay. Someone here could be of Jewish descent. It says, as the time when the Jews got relief from their enemies, and as the month when their sorrow was turned into joy and their mourning into a day of celebration. Yeah, someone here is trying to stop you from celebrating or some shit. But you're going to anyway. This is the Nine of Cups, okay? You're going to have some sort of wish fulfillment, baby boo. And someone here was trying to trying to either take that from you or stop that from happening, okay? Yeah, some sort of relationship could be of significance, some sort of union. Someone's trying to stop some sort of um, something here. Someone's name could be Samuel. We have the Ark brought to Ju Jerusalem. I can't talk. It says, wearing a linen something. David was dancing before the Lord with all his might while he and all Israel were bringing up the ark of the Lord with shouts and the sound of trumpets. So, something about judgment. Someone here is under judgment. If you guys are wondering what these beautiful freaking cards are, it's called the, bi the, bl 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 the Biblical Tarot. I got them from Amazon. They're beautiful. They arrived early. Holy Spirit, holy angels, what else they need to her? Okay. Someone here did some sort of ceremony and it done fucked up their whole life. Whatever the ceremony was. We have inside job security guard. So there's, there's a lot of individuals that were involved in something. They underestimated the shit out of you. Okay. They didn't think something was possible. Like I was saying before, they didn't think you were going to overcome something. They didn't think you were going to achieve something. They didn't think you were going to figure something out. They didn't think you were going to protect yourself or they didn't think you were protected. Okay. 
Someone here is very dangerous. You need to pay attention to this individual, okay? So there could be a security guard or someone who has a job as a security guard who's dangerous. Be mindful, okay? This could be a guard. Um, someone here could have a, what's it called? A, a gun or something like that. We have nosy neighbors. You guys could have nosy ass neighbors. For some of you, your neighbors could be dangerous or you got a, you got a neighbor who maybe knows of a dangerous person lurking outside your home i don't know we got life sentence someone here could be experiencing a life sentence okay or they're going to holy spirit holy angels tell me more we have powerful connections so you and another person have a very powerful connection or there's someone here that knows that you have a very powerful connection to the divine we have trying to make you feel guilty so someone here is gonna whoever this dangerous person is they want to come in and try to make you feel guilty this dangerous person wants you to make wants to come towards you and make you feel guilty this is a test you already know what it is though but it is though you already know we have i saw you out in public so someone here could be literally stalking you this could be a nosy neighbor or somebody who was in your community we have petty person this is a very petty person here or someone's just is gonna be doing something petty because you walked away from them this is someone here who's very narcissistic it's like someone here is like saying it's done when i say it's done okay someone here could have tried to broken tried to break into your home okay who the fuck is this petty ass motherfucker who is this petty ass person this could be a feminine energy who's petty as hell or this is a masculine energy in pet in this petty ass energy this masculine energy could be on the down low this masculine energy could be someone who overcompensates mm. let me be nice let me be nice um or your feminine energy who is this person spirit this person could be a sagittarius okay that's very petty okay or you're a sag flip it where it needs to go baby we have capricorn someone here could be a sagittarius capricorn cusp who's petty as hell and they could be upset about something here i'm also getting like whoever i'm speaking to you got someone here who's supposed to protect you and they've been compromised we have long term or someone's trying to compromise this person this is somebody here that you could have known for a long time or you were in a long-term relationship with we have aries someone here could be an aries okay this could be a baby daddy a boss okay this could be um i don't know somebody here we got aries here you could be an aries flip where it needs to go okay someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of the dragon note the date this could be you or this person okay so there's someone here that you've known for a long time and someone here you've only known for a short amount of time and they could be working together to try to do something to you tell me more we have december something here about the month of december is very significant and there's something here about someone's headphones maybe someone left their headphones at your house or at your place and they're gonna come in and try to use that use that as a way to get close to you or something remember this person is dangerous i'm also getting like be careful of you walking around with both of your headphones in yeah someone here could be a hateful baby daddy tell me more that you're dealing with or someone saying you're a hateful baby daddy flip it where it needs to go i don't know we have i can't move on from you so someone here can't move on from you child this is someone here who saw you in public this person could have went to the people who live around you to try to get information about you or try to get them to watch you i don't know but they can't move on from you whatever this is this also could be an old ass neighbor maybe you moved oh <sighs> we got anger someone here could be very angry okay which you whoever this petty ass person is this could be a karmic feminine who's very angry and dangerous okay this this karmic feminine could be a scorpio or a sag dude um or you are flip it where it needs to go we got boss manager so a boss or a manager and your neighbors could be of significant maybe a boss or a manager saw you out in public and they can't move on from you they have some weird obsession with you we have waning crescent moon someone here needs to surrender or someone here needs to let go or someone wants you to give in to them okay we have people are probably not happy with their lives if they're busy discussing yours so whoever i'm speaking to your life is a lot more interesting than them because you're a fucking unicorn and this karmic feminine is upset about that this karmic feminine gets high off of talking about you because she because she needs to heal herself we got over and over again in my mind so someone here can't stop thinking about you 
This is someone here who could be haunted. Maybe a boss or a manager did you dirty. They could have fired you um, unlawfully or something or unjustly. And it it's haunting the fuck out of them, okay? Or some sort of weird neighbor could have been trying to get you kicked out of your... Um, your residence or something and now they're haunted by something i don't know we got playing the victim someone here is playing the victim because you walked away from them this petty ass person we got co-worker you could have a co-worker here that's trying to play the victim as well or you got a karmic feminine co-worker that's trying to make you feel guilty for something here for what i don't know maybe for something that happened a year ago or someone's been doing something to you for a whole year Someone here could have trouble sleeping, or someone here was trying to get you to have trouble sleeping. Flip it where it needs to go. <laughs> I can't. Um, so you guys could have someone here who's making a lot of loud noises at night because and is making it hard for you to sleep. We got unpaid child support, okay? There's something here about a loud bang. You guys could be hearing loud banging. It says unpaid child support. So they, somebody here has unpaid child support. I don't know. This is you or someone else we got train wreck someone here has is, is their life is a train wreck right now and they they can't move on from you we have offshore accounts something about that is significant maybe someone's trying to like maybe some somebody's offshore accounts are being exposed and they're going to try to play the victim when this happens they're going to try to blame it on you for some reason we have abandonment issues someone here wants to play on your abandonment issues or someone wants to claim that you abandoned them and they want everybody else to turn turn against you or some dumb shit. This is a karmic feminine. But this is someone here who's toxic as fuck. We got person loves to complain. So you guys could be dealing with someone who loves to complain. Um, whoever this person is who loves to complain, they're never grateful for anything in their life. Okay? And the fact that they keep complaining, it keeps attracting negativity. We have disowned. Okay? So someone here could have disowned you. Okay? Someone here could have a warrant for their arrest or someone here is disowning someone or somebody wants other people to disown you or they don't want you to feel like you belong. Somebody wants you to forever be outcasted. Tell me more. You need to know that you are stronger than you thought because you are. Tell me more, spirit. We have testify. There's something here about you needing to testify or someone here could have made some sort of false testimony against you. I'm also getting whoever I'm speaking to, you need to understand the reason the reason you went through the things that you went through is so that you can have a testimony, okay? We have there's no magic pill for self-love because whoever I'm speaking to, you are a leader of faith. Why am I like so greasy right now? It's disturbing me. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Someone here was trying to change the will or the inheritance, or someone here was trying to turn your will the other way. Someone here was trying to take what's yours, okay? That's not going to happen, though, because shit has hit the fan, okay? Shit has hit the fan because someone didn't think you were as strong as you as you are. This could be a coworker that's upset, okay? This person could be a lesbian, or you're a lesbian. Flip it where it needs to go. Or someone wants you to be a lesbian. We got Capricorn Aquarius cusp. You guys could be dealing with a Capricorn Aquarius cusp. Okay. We got something about this. Something here could have been found. Some sort of evidence has been found. Or if someone tries to come towards you, they're going to be found out. Tell me more. We have scammer alert. It says using you for money. So someone here wants to come in and use you for money because shit has hit the fan. They want to touch your cloth. Touch not the anointed. It says, or touch not my anointed. Okay. It says, I bought you, okay? So somebody somebody here wants to offer you resources or some sort of support so that they can they can hold it over your head. That's another thing that I'm getting. So be careful of who's help you accept. We have 70 years and above. So someone here could be real old, okay? No offense. But you guys could be dealing with an older individual that's being petty with you. They don't want you to have a, they don't want you to re, they don't want you to, arrah, they don't want you to be with somebody who you share a powerful connection with, okay? You and this other person could be um, very positive. Someone here could have freckles. This could be you or the other person, okay? Tell me more. Because she's so high. You could be a light worker, whoever I'm speaking to. Or there's people that are now viewing you as someone who's a very positive person and someone who's a light worker. Okay, we have when the hate don't work, they start telling lies. Um, 
yeah i'm also getting there's a boss or a manager here that feels like they have power over you or something or control over you because i don't know someone's someone was telling a lot of lies about you though yeah you could be someone who's experiencing a lot of joy or something and someone wants you to shut the hell up we said trying we have trying to set you, jesus christ trying to shut you up we have manslaughter maybe someone's trying to set you up for for manslaughter or someone here is could have tried to accuse you of manslaughter this is someone here who is a drama creator this is the lies that someone was telling this is someone here who's a fucking sociopath that you're dealing with this person's very selfish or you guys are dealing with a co-worker that's a selfish light worker maybe they're not of the light i don't know or something like that we have they they made they mad because you fucking up the church's money so there's somebody here that feels like you're taking from them because you're rising up we have fire sign this could be a fire sign that's a sociopath that you that is dangerous that you need to be mindful of we have baby is not his so somebody's baby ain't theirs i don't know maybe this is something that's being exposed maybe this is the dark secret that you have exposed and somebody mad about it i don't know who knows <clears throat> we have um time for a diet change some of you need to change your diet but somebody wants you to shut the fuck up. This could be a Cancer, Gemini, Cusp, Taurus, fraud. Someone, Somebody here could have committed fraud against somebody and they don't want you to talk about it. Or they don't want you to testify in court. Or... Somebody did something. what's going on what else do we need to hear spirits yeah somebody here could be over it you could be over it you could or someone here is frustrated because you keep moving forward and you keep persevering okay someone here could be frustrated because they they don't have access to you they're blocked out their access has been denied they can't get close to you someone's losing it baby boo we have backtracking someone here keeps revisiting the past or someone keeps like revising their story. Yeah, someone here could be trying to sneak around or someone here is trying to act shady or someone's getting caught up or they already got caught up for something. Someone here is like literally <laughs> somebody fucking weird. Someone here is trying to observe you closely, trying to find any way to keep tabs on you, but they can't. This person wants to do this because they want to delay you. They want you to take the long road. This person is petty as fuck. We got petty that fell on the floor. This petty person is about to take a fall. They're very immature. They're about to be exposed for being immature or they already got exposed for being petty as fuck. Okay. <clears throat> this person says they want to come back or someone here is trying to create um communication delays between you and your person all right yeah someone here is about to have a tower moment for trying to create delays with you yeah to create delays between you and another person in this bay energy someone is so petty because you're gonna be with somebody this is someone here that you friend zoned. They don't like that they're friend zoned. Yeah, somebody here is guilty as charged. Or someone's upset because you're keeping your options open or you rejected them or. Someone's gonna get exposed for going on a date with another person while they're in a relationship. That's another thing that I'm getting. Or someone wants to find out if you're dating other people or something like that they want to know your relationship status my boo i'm so annoyed i'm annoyed i'm annoyed i'm annoyed somebody who just wants to be with you this is the classic if i if i can't have you no one can or this is a karmic feminine that knows that somebody wants to come towards you with a relationship and they're losing their shit about it. <sighs> yeah.
Yeah, someone knows that someone wants to cuff you up, coming to wife you up, gonna make you mine. Someone's coming towards you. And another individual knows this. Maybe you already know this. Flip it where it needs to go, okay? Yeah, it says attractive woman or man. Somebody here could be in the public eye, don't have to be. Um, someone, you're whoever you are, your arm candy, or you're someone who's very attractive. And this is another reason why this karmic feminine is that hates you. This could have been the same person that was doing beauty spells on you. Someone's very much threatened by how you appear. Yeah, someone here admires the hell out of you. Someone definitely respects you for who you are. Oh my god, this is beautiful. So you guys really got somebody coming in. Okay, so let's just break this down. You guys have a karmic feminine that knows that this person that actually admires you, that really respects you. This karmic feminine that's connected to this person, whether it's their family member, whether it's their friend, whether it's their current girlfriend or ex-girlfriend, whatever it is, or baby mama, whatever it is, or baby daddy, depending on who I'm talking to. Whoever this person is, okay, this karmic feminine, she does not want you two to be together. They could be getting readings to figure out if you guys have met each other or been reunited regarding your situation um, or if this person has reached out to you or communicated with you, okay? She's trying to create blocks and delays of communication, okay? Um, or contact. I'm also getting like... There could be this man that knows that they got a karmic feminine on their hands that won't let them go and they're trying to find a way to reach out to you without this person finding out that's for some of you not all y'all okay you also have a karmic masculine in your energy as well that does not want you to be with anybody else so they could be getting a lot of readings to find out who you're with if you're dating they want to find some sort of evidence on this or if you're in some sort of court situation with somebody, someone's trying to find evidence that you're dating another person so that they can use that against you in the court of law. For what? I don't know why. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know how this works, okay? There's something here about getting evidence. Maybe someone hired a private investigator to figure out what you got going on, to take a, a closer look on into what you got going on in your life. Um, there's a lot of rumors being spread okay this could be happening to the divine feminines and the divine masculines whatever this weird shit is happening i'm getting tired now because i feel like there's a lot of things there's a lot of like i also feel like people are like exhausting themselves out trying to like block this union from coming in I'm also getting like someone could have sent someone or, or try to even pay your neighbors for some of you, not all y'all or people around you to try to get evidence on you to either make you look like something that they've been trying to say you were because someone here is upset because you're not what they said you were or what they claimed you were. For some of you, someone here could have, could have even like um, went to authorities saying that you did X, Y, and Z. That was illegal, and they're trying to get you to do that. Whatever that is. I don't know. Tell me more. Something here, for whoever I'm speaking to, maybe that's the thing that's not made clear. Like, you may be knowing that people are following you, or you're being gang stalked, right? But maybe it's not for the same reason you think it's for. Maybe it's more than what you think it is, or maybe, or something. Okay? Something like that. Tell me more. Listen, I'm not God. We got, um, yeah, there's someone here that literally wants to wife you up. They want to build a life together with you. They do. Okay? And someone really does not want this to happen. I feel like this is this the energy I'm getting from this is not weird. This doesn't feel weird. This feels really good. This energy feels good. 
the karmic masculine energy, that's a no. That's very obsessive. It's very disturbing. It's very like masturbating and crying, looking at your photos vibe. Like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, we got plastic. Someone's trying to say that you're plastic, okay? Someone here, there could be rumors about you having surgery or... I don't know. Someone's trying to make um, you look like you're not who you say you are. Like, someone's... Um, what's it called? Defamation of character. Whatever. Tell me more. The only reason they're saying that you're plastic or you're superficial or whatever they may be saying... Is because whoever to, whoever's saying it is someone who looks fugly like a troll underneath a bridge. Okay? Tell me more, spirit. That's probably why. And I'm not talking about the outside appearance of that person. I'm talking about the inner their their soul looks that way. Okay? You could be someone who's a businesswoman. You could be taking care of your shit. And someone actually admires you for that. So what I'm listen. Whoever I'm speaking to, you got you got a man out here. This is I feel like it's a masculine energy. You guys got a masculine energy out here who admires your independence. That admires that your you being in your own personal power. Someone admires it. Instead of someone So, you got a karmic masculine, okay? That did not admire you being successful, you being a fearless person, you being courageous, you believing in yourself, you having a connection to the, to the divine. Someone here, a karmic masculine did not like that about you. They were trying to take that from you, okay? They wanted to take away your independence, your success, all that jazz, your belief in yourself. They wanted to, do, they wanted to tear down your confidence, okay? And then you have an actual other person that admires it. They're going to nurture it. They're going to pour into that, not destroy it, not take from it, okay? So just know you got someone beautiful coming in. This karmic masculine knows this. A karmic feminine knows about the man and you and all types of other shit. Tell me more. Who is this man that's admiring them? This person could be a Leo. So you guys could have a Leo here, okay, that admires you. Or there's, a, there's someone here that wants to come in and expose and let you know they admire you. Tell me more. Who's this person? I don't know about Leos. This is not my reading. If this is a if this is a Leo, this is not my reading. We got a snake. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the snake. You know what the date? This could be you or this person. Ciao. This person wants to come in and nurture, not nurture and support you. Um, they want to come in with resources and stability, or they want to offer you help with your business. That's for some of you. Shit. Someone here might want to invest in you. This could be a man who's like a businessman himself or something like that. Or some form of like entrepreneur or something. I don't know. So this could be like, we picked up this storyline before. So this could be somebody here who's like want to come in, but they're going to come in with like the intention to do business with you. But then they really actually want to like, I don't know. Something might turn romantic. That's for some of you, not all y'all. This person could be a cancer or they could have cancer somewhere in their chart. Okay. Or you do. Someone here could be a Scorpio or they could have Scorpio somewhere in their chart. Or you do. Okay. Listen, I don't know about y'all. For some of you, you guys could have had you guys could have already experienced somebody who wanted to come in and like invest in you or or help with your business and it turns sour, I feel like this is not the same person, okay? We have Aries, someone here could be an Aries or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart, okay? Or I'm speaking to one, all right? Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the dragon, note the date, or this is just something that's happening this year. I don't know that's for some of you not all y'all please use your discernment okay when it comes to this i gotta go holy spirit holy angels what are their ancestors and angels want them to know during this uh during this time what do they need to know for their highest good 
It says have fun. You're being asked to have fun. Okay. It says stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself your sole permission to have fun. So you're being asked to go have fun. Okay. <clears throat> what else do I need to know? We have strength. It says strength comes from many sources. Saying staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You'll never really you're never really alone as we're always with you. So yeah, you're never alone. Continue to hold on and be strong. Okay, they're giving you a lot of signs and symbols and synchronicities. We have take a moment. It says stop. You are being told stop a lot. It says now is, now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. I'm scared. What is going on? So like I said, you guys are going to have a sneaky snake coming towards you trying to get you to put down your guard. But this, but when you do, this person is going to cross your boundaries. This is someone who has already crossed your boundaries before, I believe, okay? And then you got someone else that is coming in. It's part, that, that other person is part of your new beginning. It says everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. So be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in the new direction. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else they need to hear so I can bounce? What they need to hurt. We have 0606 commitment, child. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, it says applying honesty and light daily is a fast track to creating a peaceful and meaningful life. It's how you find solutions and comfort. It says release worries by speaking your truth and expressing emotions regularly. Open up for the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come, baby boo. You better believe it, okay? And then we have 888 karma okay a lot of money is coming your way fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success if you don't appreciate the people in your life now you won't have them tomorrow so it says this message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest motherfucking potential okay so you got you got good karma coming in something is coming into balance Something is being put to balance. Something is being balanced. What goes around comes around. We got two, two, two. Alignment. Whoever I'm speaking to, something is, is falling into alignment here. We have how do you move forward towards your life's true calling? Do what makes you happy. Okay. Your enthusiasm is what keeps you going. Follow your interests if it's procured by something. Following these routes will help you discover your life's purpose. So you're being asked to go do things that make you happy. Go do things that make you ha like put you in a fun ass energy. Okay, because it's going to lead you to where you're supposed to be led. All right, we got five, 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 lots of fives, clarity. Man, this is like summing up the whole freaking thing. It says, um, you're, you are, brr. You aren't a victim of circumstance. Rather, you are the beneficiary of it. If there weren't, if that weren't the case, life would be pretty dull. You will set yourself up for success in the long run if you are willing to adapt to this shift of your new beginning. Okay? It says everything is working out for the best. At long last, you are accomplishing what you set out to do. It says everything will work out perfectly in the end. Okay? Just know that. 
And then we got 2121 at the bottom of the deck. It says energy levels. It says the day you're waiting for will come. Maintain discipline. You're getting closer to your end goal. There's no need to overextend yourself. It says guard your energy to remain focused. It will pay off. It's a climb, not an elevator ride. Trust in you, baby boo. Listen, ciao. Keep up your fucking boundaries from who you know you need to. Okay? Because someone's trying to block you from leveling up. What else they need to hear? Spirit. And then we've got to go. We have commitment again. Oh my lord. Okay, listen. <clears throat> Your time is now. Excuse me. I'm also getting this could be commitment to your mission. You might be getting tested about your commitment to your to your mission, to your path, to your destiny. Okay. It says commit to this next stage in your development, and there will be a pro there will be a promise fulfilled in some form. Okay. Something will be long term. Something will be something here will have longevity. What is it? Where, here it is. What is this commitment spirit? What the hell? What is this commitment? It's about your path. It's about your path. Let me see if you truly are going to allow old patterns and habits to die hard. You're getting tested about that. It's a test of faith. Your, your faith is it gonna, about to be tested. Keep your fucking boundaries up. Listen, I love you. I already know you're a smart motherfucker. And you got this, okay? This is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Till next time, I love you. Okay, bye.